Hello, welcome to another video showcasing my new virtual reality environment. I call this one the VR Future Station. And the whole concept behind this VR environment is something that's very modular and very easy for somebody with no programming experience to, to start using VR inside of VRED. Here we can see how I programmed my left controller. I separated the touchpad into two buttons but all of these are extremely easy to modify with the V sets. The right controller, I programmed it to activate the turntable. So that way you can always sort of choose the orientation of the car. For my own version, the only thing I modified from the standard file is instead of a geometry switch, I made it into an animation switch. So um, I wanted to see how the swing opens and closes. So I'm using my right controller to get the orientation right and then I'm activating that animation switch to um, to sort of see if I like how, how it looks going up and down. Um, and I, now I can use the left controller to also change the environment and change the paint. This is my new favorite VR environment. And after this, I'm going to show you guys what the standard file comes with and how to modify it and use it for your own custom virtual reality experience. Before we go into importing your car data, I want to go into the vsets of this file. If you, um, if you look under control buttons, here all the vsets are set up for, uh, for your VR controller. Uh, everything's programmed in the background, so it's really easy to customize that. I also have car paint there and it's hotkeyed up to the C. Uh, the environment switch is hotkeyed up to the E also, like just in case if you're maybe directing a VR experience. And then we have my viewpoint maker, and then we also have the reset turntable tools so that, so that um, you could press it to sort of stop the, the, the car from turning, even if you're not in VR. So, so this is all set up to make it as easy as possible for you to program everything to however you want. And, um, and even though it already comes kind of programmed, be, feel free to change however you think is better for your VR situation. When you're importing your own data, it's very important to place it in the right part in the scene graph for the turntable. So remember to go under car, turn, place, and under there you'll find the VR switch. I don't need the switch for right now, so I'm just going to place it on top of that. So I go to import and I find my, my file. All this um, data um, preparation and management is in my other video that showcases how to sort of prep your data before importing it into my VR. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the right HDRI is affecting our file. So uh, select the data that you just imported and then in your material editor, find the environment material. And when you find it, right click it and select apply environment to selected nodes. This will make sure that your new data has my backgrounds. And then after that, what you have to do is make sure that the car body material is in your car body. So find car body and middle mouse drag it into your data sets car body and then that that material is automatically connected to that vset switch as you saw in the beginning of this video i programmed these animations to start and stop using my left controller so to do that i'm going to go into my vsets and under control buttons i'm going to go into my left touch a and then um or actually i'm going to put it in my b and then under animation I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put wing open and wing close and I'm also going to click on sequential animation so that every time I touch the, the B button on the left side, it'll just go, it'll just keep repeating that animation. And, and, and just like that, I programmed my VR controller. This file also comes with my viewpoint maker. So if you, if you unhide views under the scene graph and you turn on your wireframe, you can see where all of these viewpoints are point are looking at and where they're located. And it's really easy to move these around and customize these or add more um, using the, the code. So let's say that you want to maybe move one around. Remember to move the, the node that's named view seven or view eight, like whatever, whatever, whatever the main node is. And if you want to duplicate it and add more, that's all you really have to do. So you just select whatever you want to duplicate. And, and then right click it, edit, duplicate, and VRED will automatically make a view eight. And, um, and what this is, is just, um, it's just a way for my code to find the places that you want to teleport to, if you want to. You don't have to, because you could also use a free roam to just walk wherever you want. 
Um, and then once you find exactly the viewpoints you want, go into your camera editor under perspective and delete all of the old viewpoints that we have. So just select all of them and press delete. Now to remake all those viewpoints, I have made a code for it and it's located under your vsets. Um, so go into your vset and there it has makes viewpoint. Um, I also have it hotkeyed up to M. So once you hit M, you'll see that it just created all those viewpoints. And that's basically all you really have to do to, um, to make all of these uh, uh, viewpoints uh, appear. Uh, these are, I like these a lot because it gives you a standardized sort of viewing angle. You know, you could tell people, hey, go to the viewpoint that's in the right corner, do this, do that, as opposed to the free roaming. But luckily I have, I implemented both of them so you can have sort of the best of both worlds. And here you can see me just enjoy my virtual reality experience. Um, it's very easy to walk around and place yourself wherever you want or, or whatever angle you, you, you want to see the car or distance. And, um, and using my right controller, I could start making a turn uh, right using the, right, the B button. And if I press it again, it stops it. And then I press it again, I, I turn it to the left and it, and it keeps going. So it's a very nice way to, um, to control that. And if I want it back to the starting point, I can use the grip button to reset it. And in the left side, my grip button changes the environment. And then the A button changes the color. And then the B button activates that animation switch that we just did. So I'm gonna get a little closer and activate it. And, and see, now I could, I could see nice, nice and, and uh, up close how that looks, if I like it or not. I could rotate around with my turntable. Um, you know, that, that's the whole point of this uh, virtual reality environment in particular. I, I wanted to make it as easy, as intuitive, and as customizable as possible without having to do any Python scripting at all. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this, this uh, virtual reality environment. It's on sale in my store. And, um, and please, um, uh, if you have any feedback on it, if you like it, if you hate it, uh, let me know, send me an email. I hope this file helps you in your journey and in your career as a, as a 3D modeler or designer or, or virtual reality developer, whatever you're trying to do. And um, yeah, have a, have a nice week, have a nice day, and, um, and good luck in all your journeys.